on to the next day. And on to the next whatever the fuck we're doing. Because we, come on, we collected all of the girls. The only thing we have been doing up until this point. Like, the, the first half was basically, okay, we're going to rescue Reen. Okay, now we rescued Reen. And then the next half was basically just, okay, now we got to find the girls. We got to find Elise. We got to find Alfin, etc., etc. And now we finally found them. So now it's like, what the fuck are we going to do now? Like, the only thing that I can possibly think of that we can actually do right now is stop the Empire. Because, let's be honest, everything we've been doing up until this point had almost zero to do with stopping the Empire from, you know, fighting with Calvert, you know, starting this whole war. So now it's like, okay, this is the time where some shit's gonna happen, okay? Shit's gonna finally go down. Okay, let's be honest, all right? We collected all of our girls. We caught them all. Okay, we, 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 we became the very best. The only thing left is whatever the hell Muse's stupid plan is because you won't tell anyone. And, I mean, I, I guess it's, you know, it's to be expected because, you know, they don't, they don't want to spoil it. You know, it's probably something really huge. But, man, I, the only thing that I can possibly think of that we're doing now is, okay, it's time to fight the Empire. It's time to stop this. Because, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to see what we're going to do now. I'm ready to move. Let's go. One day has passed since the branch campus's liberation. In the end, the Imperial Defense Force rushed to leaves but was unable to capture the Merkaba, nor those in the retreating Durflinger or Bobcat 2. They abandoned the chase thanks to some cunning tricks pulled by Makarov, Mary, and the rest of the main campus students. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's right. Like, they all just left. Like, honestly, is there anyone still there, honestly? Like, everyone there was a main campus student, right? Like, not like a, a class one student, like just a main campus student. So it's like, did any of them stay at all? Like, that's, that's the only thing that's running through my head. Like, how many of them actually stayed? Did anyone stay? I don't think anyone stayed. Like, oh my, you're, oh my goodness, Cedric. <laughs> your entire class left your ass. Everyone just like, nah, we're not, nah, we're, we're not doing this. We're leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, I, I remember them saying something about, like, oh, Cedric's gonna be surprised when he comes back and no one's here, because everyone left your stupid ass. Oh man, I love to see the look on his stupid face when he comes back and he's like, wait, where's students? Where, where's everyone? Where's Ada? Where's Fritz? <laughs> like, where, where's, where's, where's Major Michael? Like, nah, dude, everyone's gone. <laughs> Goodbye. Some time later, <laughs> it's like, see ya, we came in, we conquered, we left. Oh, man, what are we going to do now? It's like, we, we found all the girls, we rescued Reen. Like, what's next? What's, what, what's the name of Muse's stupid plan again? I forgot the name of it. I think it started with an M. Something Mirage. Mill Mirage, that's it. Can't wait to see what that is, if it's anything special, which it probably will be. This is Muse we're talking about. Everyone, allow me to extend my thanks once again. Me too. You really saved us back there. Though I'll admit, it was a little fun helping the professor out. Wait, what? Really? I've never heard anyone say that before. I'm crying out loud. I guess if anyone ever could, it'd be Teo Top for sure. Big weight off my shoulders getting you back, though. I'm sure the kiddos feel the same. 
Yeah, I it's been a few days, so I completely forgot what happened. Which I will get into later, but uh, for now we got story. Definitely, we all do. Especially since Major Michael and Professor Schmidt both ended up helping us in the end. The main campus students coming to their senses is a pretty big win for us too. Prince Cedric's in for a real shock, I bet. That's exactly what I was talking about, like, dude. Everyone's gone. <laughs> Everyone left you. It's like, oh, man. Indeed he is. One reaps what one sows, after all. Ada and Fritz were particularly close to him, too. Yeah. It's like, not only did all the students leave, like... The only people there who you could probably consider friends, like the closest thing, the closest people you can consider friends, just up and left. <laughs> like, nah, we, we, we don't want any part of this. You, you can do you, but we ain't gonna do this. This ain't us. This ain't it, Chief. I can only hope their decision helps to open his eyes as well. I, I doubt it. We can hope, but I doubt it. I think we're gonna need to smack him in the face one more time. Like, actually fight him and beat his ass for him to actually understand that. Just one more fight. I'll never stop hoping for that either. Agreed. Well, I'd say we've hit a good point for me to split. Oh, oh, Agate's leaving? Well, I mean, I guess he's been here long enough. Like, I mean, I always thought he was like a temporary character, so. I kind of expect them to leave at some point. Well, it was nice having you, dude. Still no news from Scheherazade, but I should probably get in contact with Estelle and the others. Okay. They're still on the east side of the Empire, right? I'm not going back to Crossbell just yet, but we should get in touch with Lloyd and them, too. How about you, Tio Tot? Bet you're itching to head back home. Yeah. It sounds like Jonah's been having some trouble without me. Or Yona. I keep <laughs> Jonah. Goodness. Just the J names in this game. Plus, I'd like to see Kia and Lloyd and Ellie too. Yosette's already set off somewhere else with the Bobcat, hasn't she? Yeah. It looks like the family has some business to take care of elsewhere. Why don't we just head to Crossbell and drop them off from the Merkaba then? I mean, wherever Estelle and them are is probably on the way, right? That's a good point. What do you think, guys? Well, as it happens, yesterday's events have caused another increase in surveillance. It's particularly risky over the eastern regions. I'll try to hash out a workable route, but no promises. That bad, huh? Well, we did stir up a shitstorm and a half over there. His Royal Highness must be raising the security around him. Guess that means he ain't taking this so well. Well, we won't ask you to do the impossible. You can wait, right, Tio Tot? Of course. I can help out around the ship in the meantime. Nah. Guess that goes for me too. But aren't things gonna get a little cramped here? Yeah, I mean, we got like what? We find we, we have Elise, we have Tio, we have Alfin. It's like, I mean, we're, we're rescuing all of our friends, all of our girls, all of our waifus, but it's like, I haven't, I mean, I haven't explored the ship all that thoroughly, but like, where, where are the barracks again? Like, how many beds do we have? I'm sorry. Uh, what are our rations? Because I know the ship can fly for, like, forever. But, uh, food is not forever. Neither is space. Y yeah This ship isn't exactly the biggest ship around. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I didn't mean for my presence to be such a bother. Oh, don't worry about it, honey. Oh, come on, Elise. What are you saying? You don't have to worry yourself about that. No one's going anywhere. Now while all of us are wanted down on the surface, exactly, I mean, where, where are we gonna put you? I mean, we can probably drop you off at what's it called, village, where the witches and shit, but it's like, I mean, 
I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, they probably welcome you there, but are we really gonna drop anyone off? I mean, at first I thought that was gonna be our hub, you know? I thought that was gonna be our space. But here we are on a flying ship, so it's like, oh, I guess not. I mean, I thought we were gonna be going back and forth from the village, just dropping off like class 7 members and all that, but... Oh, guess not. We're getting to the point where we need to think about our next course of action now. We got everybody back. That takes care of our original goal. Exactly. This is exactly what I was talking about. We found our waifus. We collected them all. What's next? The Empire. That's what's next. Because they haven't been sitting around doing nothing. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I heard something about the Empire having, like, a big plan. Like, I know there's, like, this whole, this, what's it called, like, Jormungan, whatever, however you pronounce it. Like, I've seen the word before, I know what it means. You know, I haven't played God of War, Ragnarok, or, you know, the new God of War, but... You know, I know all about the Norse mythology and all of that, but it's like... I know they have that, but what else are they planning? Because there's definitely more than that they're planning. So it's finally time to fight them. It's finally time to do something about it. Like, the whole point of, like, visiting... Emperor Eugen was basically like, yeah, once we find our instructor, then, you know, we can hash out what our goal for stopping the Empire is going to be. You know, what's our path, you know? So, yeah, we finally f did all of that stuff. Now, how do we deal with the Empire? Because that's the main goal here. I assume we'll need to find a safe place to split up from. Unfortunately, the Imperial Defense Force seems to have a strong presence in the Gram right now. They do, huh? Well, not no visiting there. I mean, are there any old places from the previous games that we're going to be able to visit? At all? I mean, I would like to see the Gram again and stuff like that, but it's like... With the way this game works, it's like... Places that you've been to before, you can't go back to. It's like, there are these items that I've been wanting to get, but they're at places that I just can't, I'm just not allowed to go back to. Like, there's Michelin Wonderland, that I'm pretty sure had some stuff that I could probably get, but it's like, I can't go back there, can I? I mean, not unless I can go back to Crossbell, but I don't know. Like, will I be able to go back there? Like, like near the end of the game, when, we're, when, when we reach end game, you know, when everything's all set up and we're finally, you know, getting ready for the final battle, you know, how many places will I be able to visit? You know, will I be able to just go there? Can I go back to Crossbell anytime soon? Because I'm pretty sure there are some things that I need. If only because there are some items that I want that are pretty good. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> the nerve of those scumbags to hail from the same place as my lord. Sickening the lot of them. Berea Hard's no good. Yeah, there's also Berea Hard. Oh my goodness, so many places. I don't think they put that much effort into the game, but I mean, it's like... Like, they already have the data for those games, right? I don't think it would be that big of a problem, but I, I don't know. I'm not a game designer, so whatever. Brea Hard's no good either. It's essentially Imperial Defense Force territory at this point. Same story over in Roller Roller 2! So many places they're bringing up that it's like, I can't go back there, can I? Probably not. You think they're prioritizing the East, maybe? Yeah. Sounds like they're shifting their divisions in place before the fighting with Coward begins. Yeah, it's like they gotta put all their forces to the East because Coward's in the East. So it's like when the war starts, we're gonna be we're gonna need to be able to just bring soldiers in. They're developing a forward operating base over East as well, for logistical purposes. In that case, this could be the opportunity we've been waiting for. Huh? Are we finally doing this mill mirage, huh? What do you mean, Muse? I sincerely apologize for the interruption, everyone. I've just received a transmission from Muse. Well, for all of you, actually. Well, talk about timing. Oh, come on. Honestly, Muse, your timing is impeccable. Wow, yeah. I'll say. Guess we should have seen it coming. Oh my god, this girl... ...sees the future. Through nothing but sheer intelligence. 
God, just dangerous in more ways than one. Pure coincidence, I assure you. Sure. And it's nothing to be afraid of, really. So I do think you may be surprised. It's just settle everything we were just discussing in a single swoop. Okay. I am really excited to see where this is gonna go. Cause oh my goodness, like, okay, like I don't want to keep bringing it up, but okay, it's time to deal with the empire. How do we deal with the empire? It's like you're saying these like, really exciting things. You're saying really hype things, Muse. I'm getting really excited. Okay, don't let me down. Really now? Y you mean about meeting up with Estelle and Ren and everyone else? Oh. What are you planning? Something shady, obviously. It's fine. I think I know where this is going. Rosine, can you patch us through? Absolutely. I'll put them up on the monitor right away. Huh, good. Hey. You've already gathered. Schwarzer, Class 7. I see you've kept busy this past week. Oh, very busy. And now I'm ready to move on from this busy to a new kind of busy. Herschel, Russell, oh, Lady Elise, a pleasure to see you again. Your Highness, and Lady Angelica, I'm glad to see you both unharmed. Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you, Principal Le Guin. <laughs> Thanks, you too, oh my goodness, what, what are you guys so nervous about? Same to you. Though I kind of caused a bunch of trouble along the way. Yeah, but that was no fault of yours, though. That was George's fault. I'm glad to see you're safe as well, General Le Guin. Muse has apprised me of the situation. Your concern honors me, Your Highness. I'm certain Lady Mildine has covered everything quite thoroughly. But there's something I'd like to speak with you about, nonetheless. We will be holding a special meeting of sorts later this afternoon. Ah. I do hope you can join us. Finally gonna talk about some important shit, finally. A special That's meeting? Correct. I would like all of you to attend, both class sevens, as well as the Liberal and Crossbell team. Oh! So everyone's gonna be there. I expect you'll find it a reunion to end all reunions. Okay. Okay, this, this, this just got very exciting. Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness, so everyone's gonna come together? Like, this is it? The meeting to end all meetings? It just... It just trails characters from, like, just all of the games just coming together like, hey, we got Sky, we got Zero, we got Cold Steel, we all just coming together, we're finally gonna hash this out? We're finally gonna talk about, hey, this war? We need to discuss how we're gonna stop this. Oh man, oh yes. Yeah, this, this is the meat and potatoes that's all, that I was waiting for. Oh man. Oh, we're finally getting into it. What'd you say? Hold on a sec, Principal. You can't just spring this on us all of a sudden. Oh, yes, she can. And I'm glad she did. Because that's hype. That's very hype. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, <laughs> I am... Getting that Avengers feeling, dude. Just all, oh, man. Just all of the, all of the big boys, all the big girls, all coming together, just as one. Oh yeah. As I remember, just hearing like, just the sky and zero characters just talking about Reen and like, man, wait, what do you take of like, what do you think about this guy? You know, like, oh man, it's like. Oh man! Oh my god! Oh, I am, I am excited for this. I, mean, I am excited for all these main characters to come together. Oh man! Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Oh man! A reunion to end all reunions. So you mean everyone we were just talking about? Are they? <laughs> I'll just leave that to your imagination. Though some of the encounters awaiting you may be beyond even that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my god, you were just, 
You were just you were just I you were just icing the cake right now. You're just okay. We we got the ice. Okay, we got the cake. Now we got the icing. Now we're gonna get the cherries. Like oh man. Um, would you mind giving us a hint, maybe? She's being intentionally vague as always. Oh man, it's fine. We can just leave her be. We'll find out ourselves soon enough. The whole picture behind this Operation Mill Mirage, that is. Finally! Oh man, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. You mean Musei's countermeasure against Operation Jormungan? Enacting it would result in casualties unimaginable, but it may be the only choice we have. Well, I mean, this is an this is a war we're talking about. Like casualties are probably going to happen. Like the war is probably going to start before we even get a chance to try and stop it. So, I mean, uh, I don't know, but. We'll see. Must be one hell of a plan to draw folks in from all over. Which begs the question, where's the venue? There's only one place I can think of. You may give your response to Lady Mildine. For now, I'll assume you're all coming and prepare accordingly. What place would that be? Like, it's not... This ship that General Aurelia is, is on, right? Like that ship that they took from the that the nobility, I forgot the name of it. It's on the tip of my tongue, but it's not gonna be like on there. Farewell for now. Well shit. So then, what shall we do? There's no guarantee we won't run some degree of danger, given the nature of the location. We can always pretend this conversation never occurred. Should its prospects leave something to be desired? Hell no, let's go. Like, no matter what we do, it's, everything, anything is going to be dangerous, so it's not like it matters now. Look at the nods. Look at the nods. They know. Let's do this. Let Principal Le Guin know we'd be honored to accept. But to do that, we first have to know where it is we're heading. Of course, of course. Oh. Here it is. A neutral airspace above the borders of Erebonia, Calvert, and Laboro. Ah, okay. I see. Erebonia, Calvert, and Laboro. Arms has gay. Ah, okay. I was wondering, like, okay, I see the Burl and Calvert. Okay, Erebonia is at the top. All right. Okay. A neutral zone, huh? The flagship of the Wiseland Army, the Panzergruel, that's his name, will be arriving there this afternoon. Oh, shit. That's what I'm talking about. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 4. Oh, I am so ready for this. Oh man, this is, this is gonna be hype. Oh man, I'm just imagining just the interactions with these characters. Oh, I hope it's good. I I don't want to give my expectations too high, but I hope it's good. Like I've never played Sky or Zero, so. Like, it might not be the most exciting thing for me, but man, I can imagine being like someone who's played like the Sky games and the Zero games and now Code Steel, just seeing all these characters come together, that that's that must be a sight. It's like watching all of the Marvel movies and just you get to the Avengers and then you get to Infinity War and then Endgame and it's just like all it uh, it all just encompasses like a whole it, it all just came together. Like that that that's what I'm imagining. That's that's what that feels like right now. It's like I haven't played any of the previous games, but this has got me excited. It's only 8 a.m. Still plenty of time before the meeting this afternoon. Got some new requests in. Might be a good idea to make the rounds. 
might affect our future plans depending on how things go. Instructor. Oh, it's you guys. We still got some time left. That means you'll be going around checking things out, right? The two of us will be going along with you this time, in that case. Ah, uh, the both of them? It's like we had... Old Tina. Then we had Ash. And then we had Muse. Yeah, I don't think we've had Yuna and Kurt yet. Oh, so they're doing it together? Huh. So, uh, so I'm gonna have like... Both of them in the party, like I can't get rid of them. Like, they're both like mandatory. Well, I was thinking about it, sure, but things seem pretty stable for the time being. I don't think you need to worry about anything happening to. You heard what Altina said before. This isn't up for debate. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, this will be the last time. So play nice and let us escort you, okay, instructor? Well, I mean, if it's the last time I can do that, I mean, if it means I can finally get you assholes off my back and finally take whatever goddamn character I want to take, that'd be great. I, I can do it one more time, sure. Ah, uh, fine. There's no telling what might be waiting for us when we head out later today. Hopefully, it can help put an end to this chaotic mess we found ourselves in. Let's make sure we take care of things now on the surface. We don't want to regret not doing so later on. Got it. You can count on us. Alright. Well, oh. We have Tio. Oh, I was about to say, well, I mean, I'm still going to take these two anyway, but I can take Tio, why not? Oh, and who else? I don't know who else I want to take. Agate, Randy. I mean, Randy's here, so I guess why not? Oh, but you know what? I don't think I've taken Angelica for a spin yet, though. I think we can take Angelica. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take Angelica. Why not? Use this formation? Yes. The situation in Aaron Village, Milsante, Raquel, Ulster, and the Rust Lodge has changed. Aaron Village, Milsante, Raquel, Ulster, and the Rust Lodge. Okay. Receive bonding points. Oh! Main camp. Oh, main campus uniforms. Alright. So these are different from, like, you know, the branch campus, which are blue, and the main campus, which is red. Alright. Well, alright then. What's up, guys? This is Snappy Cat, and welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel 4. When we last left off, we infiltrated the main campus. We just rushed in, stormed the bitch, fought off the main campus students, which, as I suspected, weren't shit, really. I mean, they could take some hits, but they weren't really all that tough, really. I mean, we found Emblem, like, about halfway through. And it just made things so simple. Like, oh my god, like it 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 easily became probably my favorite quartz. Like, I mean, it's not on right now because I had to change it because of the fight, but man, this is something like like okay, it's not you know the most broken, you know. Quartz like in the entire game, obviously. But it's just like 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 it makes normal battles so much cleaner. Because it means I can just go all out and not have to waste any time like going back and forth between like, you know, resting like going to an inn and 
you know, paying money to like rest like probably twice because they only restore like a hundred CP because they're stupid like that. But oh my goodness, like it's just so good to be able to just wait a little bit. And of course, you can't use it because fuck me. But it, it's just so good. Oh, you already have emblem. <laughs> You have an emblem. Emblem EX, yeah, that's your main quartz, alright. But, uh, man, like, it's just so good to be able to just go all out whenever I feel like it, you know? Like, just Demon Unchained and just uh, doing whatever I feel like. Like, I don't, I don't need to waste, like, I could just go all out, like, Yuna has her skill that just makes it so that I can just you know, accelerate basically, like I just allow her teammates to just, okay, you all immediately go in front of the enemies now, like, uh, it's so good, but it costs so much, like, this costs like, what, 80? I mean, between 60 and 80, but I think it's like 80, it costs so much, but it's so good, but it's not something I can use in like, a normal battle, because it's just, you know, it's just that important. But with Emblem, I can literally just do whatever the fuck I want. Like, you know, I'll, I'll just, you know, get into a battle, end it, and then just wait like 10 seconds, and boom. Like, we're, we're, we're back. I can just keep going. I can just go back and fight again. And it's just so... It, it's just so good. Like, I only had like 100 CP when I got here, but now I have- now I'm at max. Like, it, it's just a very good core- like, it's not the most overpowered thing in the world, obviously. But... It's good for just getting the normal enemies just out of my face. Like, it's good for dealing with them. And then when I get to an enemy, I can just switch it to whatever else. So that's great. Oh, but also, I, I I almost forgot. Like luck, I don't even think we need that anymore. Defend, no. Okay, no. Defense three, no. Where is it? Where is it? Where the hell is it? Domination. Oh my god. I have been waiting for this. Like Muse with Night Gleam. And Hades, her magic just deals so much damage, like 150% more damage. Just the first art used just deals so much damage. It's incredible. So now we have luck. So now we have, no, not luck. <laughs> now we have a Lone Blade and Domination on Reen plus Emblem. It's like, I can't help but think to myself, he's going to annihilate everything. Like, in fact, Zephyr, fuck Zephyr, why do I have Zephyr? Why did I give you Zephyr? I don't know why. Minotauros. Like, this is stupid. This is actually dumb. Damage of attacks and crash rates, damage increased by 85%. Plus Lone Blade. Plus domination is disgusting. It's absolutely gross. Just how powerful he is with this. In fact, hold on. No, you're not, you're, emblem's supposed to be first. All right. So emblem will be your main quartz. Oh, you're, you're, it's Altina has it. God damn it. All right, Altina. Yes. All right. But, like, with these two, it's like he's just broken. He's just... I, 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 he's like, I don't even know what else to say. It's just, he's just gonna annihilate everything. Like, he, he's just so strong. Like, the first attack is just gonna... Might as well, might as well just end the fight right there. Like, oh my goodness. If, like, an S, an S craft would probably end most fights. Like, I, like, honestly, this is one of those things that I'm probably not going to use in a boss fight. Like, I might actually take 
I might keep Domination on, I don't know, I might change Lone Blade for something else, but Minotauros, like, I don't know. Like, I don't want him, like, busting out, like, almost... Like, almost 250% damage, because once more Minotauros reaches, like, level 10, let's be honest, it's gonna okay. be 100% more damage. That's gonna be dumb. So, obviously, when it comes to, like, boss fights, I am gonna have to, like, kind of put a stopper on that. Because I, I do want these fights to be entertaining and not just me blowing through everything. Except maybe normal battles because who the fuck cares. But boss battles are probably not pretty much the meat and potatoes of like the gameplay. So, you know, you need to have some entertainment there. And I'm sure you guys want to see me <laughs> running through a boss fight. like Or not running through a boss fight per se, but like, you know. I mean, I'm sure you guys remember my fight with Claire. And how... Terrible that went. <laughs> that not not great. As as well as my fight with uh what's his face? Lecter. And his bitch ass with that fucking disorder bullshit that they do. Like god damn it. But uh Yeah. That was pretty much great. We fought but yeah, we fought class one, I think it is. We finally made them come to their center. Like pretty much everyone we fought up until this point. After getting rain, it's pretty much been on our side. Like, literally everyone. Like, we've had Major Claire. We've had, like, uh, General Craig, Lieutenant Nightheart. And then we have Major Michael and Class 1, Ada and Fritz and Schmidt. It's like, <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's kind of funny how everyone's been on our side right now. So it's like, Wow, like, look at all these friends. Like, every every boss fight we've been uh, in, in, like, for the last few arcs have pretty much just been, oh, we're not really your enemies, but, uh, you need to prove yourselves. Like, come on, dude. But alright. But, uh, yeah, now we're finally moving on, and I can finally get into, like, uh, a few apologies. So, I do want to apologize for how long... It took the last two episodes to come out. So basically what happened was I went to my schedule and I looked at my no. schedule and I had to work six days straight. Like from Monday all the way to Saturday, just six days straight. Like I managed to squeeze in a... Like, I, I managed to squeeze in a session, which turned out to be those two videos you saw. But man, oh my goodness, I did, I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. I did not realize it took, it was, it was that long since I uploaded a video. It's been over a week since I uploaded a video between, like, those two videos and whichever videos came, like, before that. Like, I did not intend for it to be that long. But those six days really took me off guard. I like goodness. But uh I do seem to be back on a normal schedule now. Now it's like Tuesday, Wednesday, no work Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then no work Monday. That's pretty much my schedule, so. We should be back on a hopefully regular schedule. I should be able to get more videos out now. Oh my goodness, I did not. I'm so sorry. I did not mean for it to take that long for those videos to come out. I did not know it had been that long. It's like I just, I just sat on. I, I, it, I remember the last time it had been like a while since I uploaded a video. I didn't think it'd been that long. This is like even longer than that. And I know there are like some YouTubers like I've been watching like, Iberlezy. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, like, Berlizzi and his exposed videos. Like, I've been watching, like, his gaming channel, and it's pretty, it's pretty fun, I like it. And, uh, it's been, like, like, at the time of making, like, this video, it's been, like, two weeks since he uploaded a video, so... I mean, it's, I guess this is kind of par for the course when it comes to YouTubers, but, you know, like, you know, they, they, they you know, we deserve a vacation every now and then, but it's like, you know, I've gone nowhere with this channel. <laughs> uh, like I said... When I get my own place, it's going to become a completely different story. But, you know, living with other people just kind of makes it... It, it kind of 
l ruins my enthusiasm for making videos when I'm living with, like, family. Like I said, I've already been over this, so I'm not really gonna go over it again, but... Yeah, that... Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I apologize it's been that long since I uploaded a video, and hopefully... Hopefully... You guys will get two videos... Let's see, tomorrow is Monday, so hopefully you, you guys will get two videos on, or, you know, you guys will get a video Monday. And then you'll get a video on Tuesday. And then I'll record Wednesday. And if I'm not a lazy bitch, you should get a video on Thursday. And then another video on Friday. So hopefully, hopefully that will be the schedule. Hopefully I can do that, but, you know, like I said, living with people kind of ruins my enthusiasm for, uh, making videos, so. But like I, but I also said before that no matter how long it takes for me to bring out a video, I will bring it out. I assure you, I am 100% determined to play this game from beginning to end on this channel. I don't know what game I'm gonna play next. I know the next Trails game probably isn't for like a long ass time, for you know, localized wise, but that's probably something I don't, can't worry about right now. Maybe when we get to the end of the game, I can worry about that, but as it is right now, I'm gonna finish this game. Don't you worry about it. No matter how long it takes, I will finish this game on this channel you have my promise. But, uh, yeah, now that I've got all of that out of the way, oh my goodness, I am so... I am so... ready. I am so goddamn ready to get this started. I, you, you guys have no idea how excited I am to, that we're finally back, we're finally getting this going, we finally got Domination, which I'm not going to use during any boss fights, except during a boss fight that I don't care about, like a mini boss or a optional boss or whatever the hell, but yeah. Anyway, we've probably got quests. They didn't, they didn't even talk about them. Like usually whenever we start like a new arc, they go like through the quest, but... Okay, unread. Are none of these semi-required? Like, are they all just... optional? Check all crossbow, okay. Family Scattering. From Lord Quinn. I was planning to meet up with my family, but there's no sign of them anywhere. I'm starting to worry. If you can spare the time to look for them, I'd be happy to tell you more at the White Footpath or White Footpath Tavern and Inn and Pond. Right? The hot spots. Which Dalier? Some oh, is that from Aaron Village? Yeah. Something is wrong with the Aaron Village hot spring. Oh no. I'd be glad of some assistance putting it right. I'd <laughs> Wait. And I'd be glad of some assistance putting it right, okay? It will be easier to explain in person. Come over to my place and I'll appraise you of the situation. Alright. So we have White Footpath, Tavern, and Inn and Parm. And we have Aaron Village. So Parm and Aaron Village. And Avon Hills Monster. Bracer Gale. We've been getting reports that a particularly dangerous monster has appeared in Avon Hills. Please find and slay this creature. Monster Rostrum. Location Avon Hills. Well, alright. So, they're just optional? An invitation to the Pantagruel, and from General Le Guin, no less. It seems Musée's been planning for this all along. Yeah. Sounds like it's a bigger deal than I'd imagined. Let's make sure we all stay on our toes. Sure. 
There's just one thing, Ling. Though I imagine you already know what I'm thinking. You mean about Muse, right? I am her instructor, after all. No matter how much she knows, she's still only 16. God. Two years, girl. I mean, they are first years at this academy, but wait. Wasn't Reen, like, 17 or 18 by the time, by the end of, like, the Civil War? It's been like two years since then. Uh, yeah. Look at him, that's young. I thought she'd be like 17 or at least 18. But like I said, she does have like. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get into all that. But yeah, that's young, girl. Alright. You have a ways to go. This is why I can't with you, Muse. Okay, Rain is almost. Okay, Reen is practically an adult, right? Like, I know they're like in real life, like it's not illegal to be like 19 and dating like a, like someone 15, 16 or something, but eh, that's an age gap and a half, bro. We'll need to keep an eye out for her. And that goes without saying. I've charted the course to our destination. We can leave at any time, so just let me know when you want to depart, so we can just go there? Speak with guys and select head to destination when you're ready to set up for the ban- Yeah, okay! Wow, so we don't even have to do any semi-required quests, like usually you'd have to like, complete at least one, and then you can just go. But here it's like, oh no, we can just go literally whenever we feel like it. Like, oh, I have Yuna and Kurt here watching out for me, but it's like, I don't- I can just go there right now. I mean, we're not going to. But we can. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting, alright. Well... Oh, I didn't mean to come out here. No, oh, Yusus has something. Okay. We have Elise. We have Elliot. Emma. Yuna, Muse. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. No, wait, okay. Elise, Elliot, Emma, Usus, Yuna, Muse. How many do we have? Four. So someone's gonna have to be missing out. I like spending time with the girls. No discrimination, but well, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty just I'm, no, I'm I'm pretty discriminatory. I'll admit, I like hanging out with the girls. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah. So might have to pass on either Elliot or Usus. No, no, I'm more interested in Usus to be honest. But uh, we'll worry about that after we take care of the monster and the other quest. So. All right, let's go to the lounge. See if we got some new weapons or gear, or something, and look at this bullshit. You and who else, Celine? Well, I mean, you do have a human form, but still. Oh my God, Vantage Masters, are you serious? All right, you know what? We're gonna go and take care of these quests first. And then when we come back and after we deal with all that, then we can play some Vantus Masters, then we can do some bonding events and we can worry about all that bullshit, alright? But first... Shopping. Oh, hello Reen. Oh my god, look at you Toa. You're a 20, you're a 21 year old woman and you're about her size, you're like less than 5 foot. I mean, I love you. I really do. You know, I'll be honest. If I had to choose a girl, I would probably choose Toa. But I, as I said before, the one thing I don't like about these bonding events is that... With, like, There's just no romantic scene with Toa. Like, even when you're at, like, the... the, the 
the festival at the main the capital whatever the fuck it's called Erebonia's capital kingdom or whatever the fuck it's like when you're there and you're spending time with people you know, you're, you're at their, you know, their, their final bonding event or whatever it's like it's like there, there's nothing romantic about it it's like I, I, I really want to romance this character but it's like you, they, they make it really hard why? It's like, it's like okay, we 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 okay. We, this character is you know romanceable, but uh, yo know, no, either they're romanceable or they're not. Okay, if Persona Five can have me literally date my fucking teacher, you can go the extra mile with a character that is literally my peer. God, I. <sighs> Good to see you're still in one piece. Why wouldn't I be? Hey Toa, Tita. Thanks for all your help back in the leaves. I've told you, Reen. There's no need to thank us for every little thing. We're all a team here. That said, I was really impressed with your work this time around, Tita. Yeah, if you didn't have the orbal the, the orbal gear at the ready, we never would have infiltrated to keep that smoothly. Even Professor Schmidt gave you a stamp of approval. Just barely. <laughs> it made all the time spent making little adjustments here and there worth it. Although the professor only gave me a pass on this one, I've still got plenty of assignments left to tackle. You'll pass them with flying colors too, I just know it. You've proven yourself more than capable of rising to any challenge. We'll be counting on your support from here on, Tita. Thanks. I won't let you down. Alright, can I shop now? Thank you. Yes. That's the quartz. Nothing. Come back soon. I'll help. Make EXOR. Nothing. Oh, you have a lot of U material though. That's a lot more U material than I thought I'd have. But man. Come back soon. Hold on. We can't go back to leaves, can we? Son of a bitch. Can I catch that fish anywhere else? I mean, maybe, maybe Milsante. I mean, there are some places that have changed, so it's like maybe we can catch it there or somewhere. But it's like I really want to grind. Like apparently, I can get like nine U material from that fish. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I can make. Oh, and we have trial chests. Well, only like this one with Altina, but still though. Well, I mean. I mean, we have, we have Minotauros, and Lone Blade, and Domination now, so it shouldn't really be all that big of a deal. Literally just slap it on anyone, and we can make any fight seem like trash. Alright. I'll help. Do you have anything new? Let's see. Well, not for any characters I currently have in my party. Except these, but... I don't really care about defense all that much. I mean, maybe near end game when we finally get, like, the best... Like... Armor and boots, then maybe? But as it is, it's like, I don't really want that. I don't want to buy something for, like, literally every single person. I don't have the money for that. Oh, we have some new stuff, though. Fire Red. Oh, we got Muse. <laughs> Emma. Halfin, represent your girl, represent your waifu. All right, and we have Sepeth Mass. All right, and with this uh, domination, Lone Blade, Minotauros, it should make defeating monsters and grinding a lot easier. Come back soon. We'll see. All right, yes. strengthen. Nothing to make. I wonder if they still have those... Quartz. Wait, are these Quartz or... Come back soon. Oh. Orbit, Weapons, Quartz. I'll help. Orbit, Quartz, okay. 
I just want to make absolutely sure. But it's like, I wonder if they still have those quartz that give me like seal and burn at the same time. You know, like you guys remember that? Like I think it was like Genbu and Suzaku. Like are those still in the game? We'll probably run into them soon if we found domination. Also, we have Impede. I need to give those characters Come back that soon. really need that. Because even if it's just a night, like 90% is really good. Alright. I don't think we need to worry about that right now, but okay. I think we're finally good here. It's been like an hour for me just doing nothing, so I guess it's finally time to. Oh, we also have like gifts for everyone, but I'll, I'll worry about all of that later. Alright. So our, it's finally time to head out. So let's go to, where is it? Parm, Spinning City. What was it again? White Footpath, Tavern, and Inn. Alright, you're upstairs. Hello, sir. Helena, Luna, Claire, where are you? I've been waiting and waiting. They couldn't have gone to the wrong place, could they? We were to meet at the, their favorite inn. Pardon me, we're here about your request for help. Ah, excellent. Wait, were you not the kind student who once found my wife's lost wallet? Really, are we? The only wall that I remember was from... I keep forgetting her name. Annabelle, that's her name. But I know it's not Annabelle, though. <laughs> I guess that might have been us. I don't remember you at all, unless I was a quest in, like, Cold Steel 3. Well, anyway... Would you help me find my family? It may be a bit time-consuming, if that's alright. Of course, that's what I'm here for. Sure. Why don't you tell us the whole story? Now, where should I begin? Even we nobles have been rather busy lately the current situation going on. I've been liquidating some of my assets to raise funds for the army. My wife's family has been doing the same. She returned to her father's estate to supervise the liquidation, taking our daughter and our maid with her. Oh, I see now. You must be feeling lonely without them. I am, yes. But it's only temporary. It's nothing compared to what families of the average soldier have to endure, indeed. Anyway, everything was more or less sorted, and I thought the chance to meet up with them could be a break for all of us, so I sent them this letter. I'm so glad you're finally coming home. I'll meet you halfway so we can travel together from there. I'll see you at the inn that serves those pies you love so much in our favorite town to relax in. I've been waiting here, but there's been no sign of my wife or our daughter. Did they get lost on the way? Were they caught up in some incident? I'm so worried. My stomach's in knots. Ah, that does sound bad. I completely understand. Are you sure your wife knew this was where you meant? Absolutely. The chicken pies are unforgettable. Oh, I can use a chicken pie, man. Nothing is strive against, but the flavor was simply perfect. My wife and daughter loved them. That might be true, but your letter, your letter sounded really vague. Maybe your family went to a different place that also has good pies. We don't mean to be dismissive of your worries, sir, but this does seem like the most likely explanation. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about that, but at the same time I was like, okay, so their favorite pies, like, okay, they probably have good pies here. Like the way he was talking about them, like, yeah, sure. It's here. But now it's like, yeah, that does sound vague. 
Like, I mean, what, what, was it really that vague? Yeah, yeah, probably. Like, I guess it depends on, like, like, or were there other pies you've had that were really good? That hadn't crossed my mind. I thought this was the only place it could possibly be, but... Well, you seem to be the expert at this kind of thing. Please find my family. We will. I promise. So, they're obviously at an inn somewhere. A nice town to relax in. The inn in their favorite town to relax in. And they like the pies. Oh, this is probably a good place to start looking. It's gotta be somewhere as quiet and peaceful as Parm, at least. Alster and Milsante are likely candidates as well. There's also the place on the road to Lemaire. But I guess it doesn't count as a town. The town has to have an inn with great pies, too. That's something to go on, at least. Quest Family Scattering started. I mean, let's be honest, you already know I'm going to use the guide, so who really cares? Heh <laughs> I'll be running the counter today. May I fix you a drink? Or perhaps a nice warm snack? Y sure. There's something so weird about having a classmate in a habit behind the counter. No, <laughs> look at her tutor head! Reen, is something the matter? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. No. <laughs> Alright. What would you like? Holy Pecky. Inventory I already have. What, three of these? But Imperial Chronicle, that's what I need. Oh, look at that. Gold hair rain. Blue hair Toa. Brown hair Tita. Alright. Holy Pecky, yeah, I already have three of those, so. Is that lenses? Come again anytime. What would you like? Trade. Huh. Quip quartz. Let's see. Probably nothing here. You know, Rage would be good on Duvalin. Counterattacks after evading always deal critical damage. But there's also the fact that you can't change her goddamn fucking Master Quartz. Bitch. God, she, if she's gonna join the party and be a permanent member, at least let me change her goddamn Quartz. God, I mean... I know, like, the PC version of this game comes out in, like, two months or something. It's, like, uh, way too far away. Or, like, next month, which is, like, uh, too, wait, yeah, too far. It's, like, man, come on. It's, like, I would love just to have a mod or something and just get rid of that bullshit. Like, no. Get rid of this goddamn quartz so I can give you something that's actually better. Thank you very much. Goodness. Oh, butter pecky. God, I just need one more. I just need one more pecky. I just need butter pecky. Can I... Goodness. Probably should have brought Ash for this if I'm going to be going to Raquel. Honestly, I'm in a pickle because the price of our costs have nearly doubled. I've been working with an independent merchant and there's been a real surge in prices. In times like these, I'm really impressed at how Kleiss and Co. keep prices low. <sighs> Managing Mira is not an easy task. I'm starting to understand why Clark was so strict about it. Alright. There it is, Butter Pecky. Oh, blue hair Elliot. Dark hair Fee. Brown hair Sarah. Look at that. Okay, so we have our last Pecky, and I think there's something else I can get here, too. But I don't think this is the place, though. Making a Rose Pawn Shop, I think that's it.
From what I've heard, there's some trouble stirring up over at Thor's main campus too. The Ark Royale's gone missing, along with some of the students. The Vice Principal classified it as an official leave of absence. A lot of the instructors the government sent over seem pretty on edge. So that was going on at the main campus. That means it wasn't just a Durflinger that escaped then, right? You seem to know a lot. Nah, I see now. You've got your connections with that informant to keep you in the loop. <laughs> well, you caught me. The informant over in Trista is on a whole other level of skill than I've seen. Makes you almost jealous of what they can get away with. It sounds like they're working on pre procuring weapons and keeping up a pretty lucrative trade. I guess that's not so different from here. I see. Yep, that's Mikt, all right. Vice Principal Heinrich and the uppers are keeping things under control as best they can. There shouldn't be any problems over there. All right. Silver coin. There it is. Boom! Finally got it. Oh my goodness. It has been a long time coming, but we finally got it. Alright, Platinum Coin. Boom. Rogue Pecky. Boom. Transparent Pecky Badge. Boom. There we go. Finally. Oh my goodness. Now if I can just get this, which I know one of these items is like quest only, and I don't know if I can do that quest yet, but... Oh man, prevents ailments that would be good for someone else. Victory belt, break damage for 50%, evasion plus 15, accuracy 100, speed 15. Oh my god, that would be great! See, oh my god. Alright, so I looked up where to get the rider goggles and the rider boots again, and apparently it's all just crossbell. So, apparently we can revisit places later on, but man, oh my goodness. It's like, I just want this now. I'd have it now if I remembered, but I didn't. And then you have these. I can get the fire talisman and the ice talisman, I'm pretty sure, but the earth talisman is the one I just can't get. Goodness. Oh my god. I'm so close. I'm just so close, but so far away. But oh well. We... <laughs> we got them. We got some. We got a few things. But man, the victory belt and the global talisman—that's what I'm really looking forward to. But the victory belt, especially speed, accuracy, evasion, break damage—that would be perfect for Duvali or any character who is pretty much evasion focused. God. All right. Well, we finally got that out of the way, so. Now, we can finally continue on with the side quest. Helena. Ah, what is keeping my husband, Luna, and Eclair? Oh my goodness. I really want to eat this place's fish pie with the whole family. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you think this could be... Yeah. It might... It might one of Lord Quinn's family. Oh my goodness. Okay, typo. It might be one of Lord Quinn's family members. Pardon me. May we ask you a question? Kurt explained that we're searching for members of Lord Quinn's family. You mean my husband is waiting in Parm? I mean, I really love Parm, but. Did he forget about how we all talked about how Miss Sante and its beautiful scenery is the best? My husband even said that this inn is the best because it'll fix up a fish pie using the fish we catch as a family. I can't believe it. He just does whatever comes to mind. I can't say I didn't expect this. I think they've completely misunderstood where they were supposed to be meeting one another. Is that why Luna and Claire aren't here either? Uh, how do you mention it? Your daughter and the maid aren't here with you, huh? Yes. There was some luggage I wanted to sort out, so they left before I did. So that's what happened. 
They may have gone to the wrong town as well. Somewhere else? I can't think of anywhere else they could be. This is Luna we're talking about, so it's entirely possible that she completely ignored the town part of the directions. <laughs> Understood. In that case, we'll continue to look for them. Thank you for your help. So it might actually be at that inn that isn't in the town. Oh, hey, it's you. It's been some time since I was last in Erebonia. The records have brought many things to light that weren't previously visible. But the seeds of chaos have begun to sprout. The various powers have begun to converge and enact their respective plans. Now the question is, what role should I play upon this stage? Huh. It's like, what? I have no idea who you are. You've probably been in like previous games, but it's like, dude, like, who are you? I mean, they, I mean, they probably already said. Like, I mean, we've met him before, but it's like, what is your true? What is your purpose? But all right. Oh hey. I see. I'm glad Bridget is doing all right. Yeah, wish I could say the same for Alan. Still, got some good intel out of the whole thing, though. So that's something. Speaking of which. You hear any interesting rumors lately, Adele? <laughs> I might have. I could share some with you, if you would only do a little something for me. Absolutely! Anything you want, what you need, a private photo shoot, I can bring out your inner beauty like you wouldn't believe. Is that a yes? Wonderful. I was just heading out to my family's estate to water the plants and I could use some help. Oh, is that all? Well, I guess that could make for some good shots, too. <laughs> if not for photography, Rex would only ever have one thing on his mind. But still, Adele and Rex together, huh? Seems like they were just exchanging intel, but maybe there's something there. Oh my god, is this a new ship? Ah. You have my deepest gratitude. Here's a little reward for your efforts. Hey. Magic droplets. I feel like every new dish I try expands my cooking repertoire. If it's not too much trouble, would you bring me some more? No problem. I suppose you have anything for me to buy? Nope. My, you certainly made yourselves busy in leaves. Wonderful work freeing Elise, Tio, and all the others locked away in the main campus. <laughs> thanks. Sounds like you've heard all the details already. <laughs> News travels fast among Thor's alumni. Speaking of which, you should know that the Imperial Defense Force has increased their surveillance. Be extra careful now. Oh, don't worry. I've been swapping info with Adele on and off for a while now. But she never drops her arm. <laughs> but she never ever drops her guard. It's my dream to take a heart-stoppingly risque photo of her that also conveys the harsh realities of war. But no dice. Um. I'm pretty sure two of those things don't go together, my guy. <laughs> you might want to reconsider that particular combination, Rex. <laughs> And here they are. Ah, what's taking mother and father so long? Don't they know how long it's been since we've all been together as a family? Lady Luna, are you sure we're in the right place? Master Quinn's letter told us to meet at the inn that serves those pies you love so much, in our favorite town to relax in. Of course I'm sure. Besides, this is the only inn in town. And the pie they serve as this lodge is the best I've ever tasted. That's Laura Quinn's daughter and maid right there, isn't it? Oh my god, of course this girl doesn't understand the difference between a town and a rest spot. Sorry to interrupt, but we might be able to help you out. You can explain Laura Quinn's search for his family. What? 
Father's actually waiting at the inn in Parm? I guess the chicken pot pie that they have there is, is pretty tasty. <laughs> it's like, with the pies you love so much. It's like, this guy has no idea the pies they actually loved. Oh my goodness. It's like, they all love different pies. It's like, you love the chicken pie, she loves the fish pie, she loves the whatever pie. Probably the berry pie, I think, whatever the hell, I don't know, I didn't look at the menu all that closely, but... <laughs> I knew this couldn't have been where he meant. And like I said, this girl doesn't know the difference between a town and a rest spot, come on. Sorry for putting you to all this trouble. Have you found Mother someplace else already? Yep, we ran into her in Melsante at the White Birch Inn. I knew it! That place has the best fish pie in all of La Mer. Their menu could give this place a real run for its money. But I'd still rather have the walnut pies they have here any day. Uh, glad to hear it. In any case, let's get you two back to Lord Quinn over in Parm. Oh goodness. Helena, Luna, Eclair! I was so worried about you. I feared you got lost or that something happened to you. I'm still shaking from the nerves. Dad, you were that worried? S sorry for worrying you so much. Aww. It's entirely my fault, sir. I should have been the one taking the lead. Dear, I'm so sorry we made you worry. So I think we'd end up causing you so much stress. There's nothing to forgive, my love. I'm just so relieved to see you. As am I to see you. But I have to tell you this, dear. Uh oh, she's making that face. The description you gave us. Favorite town and those pies we love so much. Anyone would think it's the White Birch Inn at Mosante. It was you who went to the wrong place, not us. What are you saying? I obviously meant the White Footpath Tavern and Inn and Parm. I thought you meant Noche Rest Lodge. B miss Each location we visited on your family trip was a most wonderful place. Hmm, Eclair's right. Ah, uh, it's just as Eclair says, isn't it? When it comes down to it, every place we visited could be a contender for favorite, couldn't they? Ah. Uh. I suppose. Once this war is over, we should travel again. Let's continue making precious memories as a family. We'll discover more and more places like... And places we like as well, okay? What a wonderful idea. Yay, I can't wait. I'd be honored if I can accompany you all. Thank you so much for finding my family. Without your help, it might have taken days or even weeks before we even re reunited. I'm in your debt. It was our pleasure. We can imagine how terrible it is to be separated from your loved ones. I'm just glad we were able to be of assistance. I hope you'll always get along as well as you do now. Yeah, I do not remember this family at all. <laughs> it's like lost wallet. Uh, sorry, sure, I guess. Quest family scattering completed. Obtained impenetrable shield. And 6500 mirror. At last I'm reunited with my family. I can never thank you enough for what you've done for me. This place is unrivaled when it comes to chicken pies. But personally, I prefer Melsante's fish pies. Still, my husband made a good choice picking this as the meetup spot. Hmm, chicken pies, fish pies, ah. Uh, but I like sweet pies a lot more. I'm gonna get walnut pie. What do walnut pie taste like? It's like I think of like a walnut and I'm just like, like are those bitter as fuck? It's like she's not going to back down. Never had a fish pie before, though. 
or a walnut pie, but I do like sweet pies. <laughs> All things aside, it's so wonderful to see them getting along. It's a pleasure working as their maid. I swear, it feels like almost every maid or butler I meet just loves their family so much. Like the family they're working for. It's like, like you have a good job. Like if you're working for a good family like that, good on you. Because I can only imagine like all the other maids and whatever, like just hating the people they're working for. But uh, now well. I guess this is more of an idealized thing, but uh... I guess we're done with this quest and on to the next one. Aaron Village. Let's go.